I want to start to talk about sanding, and this, this is probably one of the most important things in um, how to get this wing right, to, to, to fly well, and, and I think it's very important to, to do it correctly. Uh, what I've used in the past is this sanding block, and uh, basically it's just a channel of uh, uh, aluminum, and it really doesn't matter as long as you have two flat surfaces. If you don't have a sanding block, you can just take a piece of balsa wood and say uh, you cut a um, couple of inches off of it you take the other piece and make like a uh, like a t-handle and what you do after that you, you take the some sanding block and you bevel the edge like this you're gonna put a little bit of an angle on it so that when you put your um, sanding paper on top of it it's gonna roll over like that and have a little bit of a leading and uh, angle Another thing that I'm doing when I'm sanding is I use two colors of tape. Okay. You put the white tape on like this and after that what you do you put the blue tape on and uh, you stagger it a little bit backwards. What happens as you sand down obviously in this case when the blue tape is on top you're gonna see the blue tape being just kind of it, it starts to become torn apart and, and there's just the, you know, you can see when you break through the blue tape and you touch the white tape. And that's how you know when to stop, okay, or you're really close. And when that's the case, you may want to replace both tapes and start over again because what you do, you, by, by sanding back and forth like this, you don't want to cut through the top of the ribs at all. All you want to sand, you want to sand from the trailing edge and blend it to the surfaces here. So if you cut through both tapes, it means you sand more from this side versus where you need to sand, okay? So this is a cool trick to keep yourself in check. And if that happens, you know, just remove the tapes and then put fresh tapes in there and you're back in business and then you start over again. And that way you can eliminate, um, you know, uh, aggravation and you know you don't want to cut through the top of the ribs at all on my sanding block here I have uh, this is looks like a, I think it's an 80 grit paper and this side over here is a 60 grit paper and it kind of helps me you know um, I, uh, I can get most of the job done with a 60 and then I can flip over to the finer side and, and just put a finish touch to it but this is still pretty coarse um, I also have another sanding block in here, uh, which I made on also on a piece of aluminum, and I have an even finer tape on this one. What I'm going to do first, you know, we need to remove these uh, corners, and as a sequencing, what I will, what I like to do, obviously, when you just think about it, okay, when you want to sand this off, you don't want to start to hit into these guys, right? And uh, when you sand here again, those are kind of in a way. Uh, as a sequence, what I like to do, I like to sand these two guys first. This one here, this one here. And then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sand the trailing edge, then the center, and then I'm going to sand the leading edge. And when I sand the leading edge, I'm going to use this... Uh, this uh, mystery piece of um, plywood. So what I'm gonna do with this, basically I'm just gonna put it on top of it like this, and uh, I'm gonna tape, put a couple of pieces of tape like this to hold it from moving forward, one on one end and one on the other end, like this. Just like this. So you hold it shallow of that. So what you do from that point on, you just can come from here and just sand it off and try to blend it in. And this is also like a hard stop so you can you don't touch on the ribs and it gives you a little bit of um, flowing on the on the very edge because it has a little extra height. Um, and uh, this is the direction I'm going to go with 
um, sanding from now on. Okay, right now let's get practical. Use an X-Acto knife, whatever, it really doesn't matter. So what I'm doing here, I'm just setting it flat, okay, and I'm just dragging it in. And the same here, I'm just setting it flat and push it forward. So there goes one end. Same on this side. It's a little bit more difficult because this is this has quite a bit of extra height, but it really doesn't matter. You can even grab it like this and just snap it off once you got one end. Okay. So my first focus is to to uh, sand these two ribs to size. Okay, or shear webs, whatever you call them, shear webs. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take some um, masking tape. I'm just gonna mask off the area. What I don't want to sand, that's where I put my mask, right? So it's just like when you do some painting. Uh, if you don't want to paint it, well, you mask it. All right, so. So I'm making sure I just tape it down pretty good. Here, okay. Um, and what you want to do, you want to make sure that the masking tape extends past your um, intended area, whatever you want, when you want to cut. And just for extra insurance, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get another uh, piece of tape. And you're going to go through quite a little bit of tape, but you know, tape is cheap, cheap insurance. You don't want to destroy a wing for uh, $1 worth of tape. And what I'm going to do with this guy, I'm not going to put it right on top of it. I'm just going to stagger it just a little bit. Okay. So now as I cut through this guy, I'm going to see it right away because the white is going to appear from the back side and it's going to have quite a little bit of contrast over there. And I'm going to use that contrast to my advantage. Okay. Another trick you can use for this, you just use a piece of paper like this and you can set it on top of it. So because this sanding block is kind of long, so I don't want to get over that, right? Or just be careful not to hit this edge here. So uh, you, this is going to rock back and forth a little bit as you sand through. So you just have to be careful. And I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure. I'm just I'm just merely moving it back and forth, and I'm allowing the sandpaper to do the work. And what where I'm looking, I'm not looking here. I'm not looking over here. I'm looking right here because I don't want to hit that. That's my number one worry right now. So I'm just just go like that. And what you want to do once in a while, just run your fingers through. You see that? The, the color changed right here. It's from the laser cut, it just disappeared. And I can feel that I need to sand from this end a little bit more. I'm going to feel here. This is pretty much done. And this is also from this end as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit now. Since that part is done. Let's put a little piece of tape on top of it. Okay. And since I'm getting close, I'm going to switch from the coarse side, I'm going to switch to the light side. And if you close your eyes and touch, run your finger over it, you should feel it if you're done or not. Yeah. Now I'm moving to my fine piece of tape to just touch it off and this is pretty much done okay that feels good so it really doesn't take much it's just a few swipes of the another thing is when you remove the tape okay you probably want to go in this direction like that so it's gonna release a little bit easier One other thing you could do to make sure you got it right, you can take some black marker and just put some black marker right on top of the rib. And that's gonna tell you immediately if you are done or not. But for me, I just have to see, if you see just the, the laser cut mark going off, you're done. Uh, that's a good stopping point. All right, this is the trailing edge sanding part of the video. 
Trailing edge is relatively simple to do. And what I want to do is you have a little piece of, um, you know, the whites with the white part and then you have the laser cut part, right? And you want to see when you sand through and when you get to that white part and everything and you just cut everything down and, and blend the trailing edge nicely. Um, the technique is pretty simple. We're going to use the same te technique that we um, presented before. We're going to use two pieces of tape and just put them on a trailing edge one and stagger the other one backwards. And what we want to do, we want to, we don't want to push down on a sanding block. It's weighted alone should get most of the job done. All we want to do is just, just guide it just very gently like that and maybe a little finger of pressure on the back side of it because that's what you want to cut. You, want to, you don't want to cut in the front, you want to cut on the back side, okay? And you're going to keep an eye on the tapes, on the double tape in here to make sure that it's like um, um, we don't cut through the tape. Because as soon as you cut through the tape, you're going to cut through the ribs. We don't want to touch the top of the ribs, whatever. Um, that's very important. So, that being said, I'm just going to start to put the tape on. And what I'm leaving here, just I'm not leaving a whole lot. It's about uh, 3 16th of an inch on the back side. And I'm just going to tape it all the way through. Hold it down pretty good. I'm going to tape every single rib. And, and by the way, if you make a sanding block, don't make it very wide. You only need maybe an inch of sanding block. Okay? So you don't need a whole lot. And this I'm going to stagger it backwards just a little bit. I have about one eighth of an inch now from here to here. About three millimeters or so. Okay, like that. And I'm gonna do one more thing before I even start sanding. I'm gonna take a marker. So I'm gonna take a black marker and I'm just gonna put some markings in all the areas that I don't want to touch and if I see the marker the black disappearing well guess what that's when you know you are done the job is finished you also want to tape this area too because you don't want to center that all right, so again, I'm not trying to put pressure over here. I'm almost just start barely moving it back and forth for now. And uh, okay, wherever you want to have some pressure, some extra pressure, put a finger worth of pressure. It's very light. You don't want to just really dig into it. And what I do is as I send back and forth, I'm going a little bit on a diagonal. When in doubt, if you don't know where you're at, you can just you know, kind of close your eyes and just fill it with your fingers. Your eyes are gonna deceive you a little bit, so, but the, the touch is very accurate, you know, so you can feel like five thousandths of an inch worth of a difference. And or you also can feel like, hey, I'm getting close, right? So, keep checking, see where you are at. I'm mostly sanding on this end, this, the back side is just merely almost sitting in, in the air. And I'm going a little bit on a slight angle. What I'm trying to make sure, I'm trying to make sure that I'm staying flat. I don't want to stay like this with the sanding paper. And I'm usually actually using the, the, um, 
the tape is a hard stop right now and uh, if you hold the sanding paper mostly on this side well it doesn't want to roll over if you hold it like that you know it wants to sand where it shouldn't be so I'm staying mostly like this and just doing a slight angle and once in a while what you want to do you just want to run your fingers through and see how close you are I mean it's going to get closer and closer it's just patience what I'm saying just be patient don't try to rush it it's not a race nobody's racing you probably you don't have to go to a contest tomorrow okay so and just be gentle don't push too hard I feel this one is pretty close. My focus is kind of to keep it flat in here. Okay, I don't want to stay over there. Just I'm using this. It's it's like I'm using the the flat surface to going that way in this direction like that, and I'm trying to. As I go sideways, I'm just cutting there, but I'm, I'm using this flat surface to kind of go over there and, and touch it, but it's on a very small scale. You just like, see that? Like that. And that's a, a good motion. And I'm also keeping an eye, a close eye on this. You see, it's almost breaking through. It's okay. Use my fingers once in a while. I'm gonna touch it. Up. Patience. Don't try to send it off all in two swipes or three swipes. You just take your time. I'm gonna finish this the rest of it off camera. And one more thing. Right now I'm focusing here with, with my pressure, right? So what I wanna do now, since I'm approaching the other end, I even wanna start and, and switch direction. I'm gonna start on the back side and, and start sending from over there. But because it's uncomfortable for me to send from the back side, what I'm gonna do. And this is the beauty of the of using this uh, system. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn it around. And guess what? And now I have access to the back side. And right now I'm going opposite, I'm coming this way. This is quite a bit more to sand off this little patch. Right now I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna add a little bit of pressure over here because I know I have a lot to go. But as the closer, I, um, as I get closer and closer, I want to, um, I'm gonna slow down. I'm, I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit, be more careful. And by the way, you see that you have such a high spot in here because of this raised rails you actually don't have much to hold on on the back side so you want to be mm, you want to be sure that you're somewhere over there right see i'm staying away from it and just keep Trying to be careful. As I said, not a race. Actually, this one's already sanded off. Okay, I have more from here.
you can even go like this. I'm going to do a bit of round motion. That's pretty close. A little bit more. Okay, you see this spot here? The black is already gone. I'm done. That part is over. It's finished. So I'm just gonna... This one is black, it's gone too. I'm, right now I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm putting the finishing touches here. See, this one is done too. I'm gonna let this one go. It's done. This is done. I'm, I'm watching the black side going. Disappearing real fast. And I'm done. This is it. This trailing edge is finished. Here it needs a little more. I don't see the black one yet. It's done here, done over there. Okay, this is finished. This trailing edge is finished now. What I want to do now, I want to sand the, the shear web. But as you can see from, from about this point forward, so we have one, two, three, four, five. In this section, the leading edge is quite elevated and it's gonna interfere with what I need to do quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rough it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna put on a sanding paper like this and just, just cut it down. I'm not gonna cut a whole lot off of it, just a little bit, okay? Enough to put my tape and it's, I'm, I'm running my fingers over and I'm getting kind of close. And that's all I want, just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm ready to use the same technique I used before. And I'm just going to put some tape around and I'm going to tape the space for the shear webs so I can sand them off. And again, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. And break this off. And one more in the front of it. And you don't want to leave too much space in here uh, because this is like a high point of the rib. You want to get relatively close to it, but not too close, okay? So I think about uh, anywhere less than one eighth of an inch is going to be fine. It's like, um, so it's, it's, it's not a big, uh, <coughs> big deal. Uh, it's a big distance, just uh, a short distance, okay? Actually, here it's a little bit long, but it's just going to be fine. And the same technique. In all honesty, here you don't really need a double tape. Because you don't have a whole lot of that flat-on-flat uh, -flat sanding. Okay. This this is just you, you you're hitting the high spot. You're just hitting the high spot, but it's good to have it. Better safe than sorry.
So, now that it's all taped off, I'm going to take my marker. I'm just going to color the top of the grid. And again, we're going to sand until this is all disappeared. And obviously, when you make it, when you want to use marker, you may also use a marker here, there, and there, and just be done with it all in one shot. So you don't have to come back and mark it again, mark it again, mark it again. But, you know, six of one has half a dozen of the other, right? Actually, I'm doing, I'm doing this separate because uh, um, all this, I'm going to put mini videos on section and section, so if I did it on the other section, you cannot see it on this one, so yeah, like that. Okay. Alright, and this is going to be the tricky part, right that spot, that corner over there, I have to be careful. And right now when I'm sending this, I want to stay with it just just horizontal. I don't want to go like that or like that. I just go on high spots. And again, I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it. I'm just allowing that the black to cut. And keep checking. And because this is so aggressive, I'm just going to switch to the other side. I just don't want to be that aggressive. Actually, the, the slower it cuts, the, the better you're going to be. And uh, I'm just going to fill my way around. I'm just going to move that way a little bit. Extra light in here because I need it. I'm not sure if I can see very well. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Actually, I can see it a whole lot better. Light helps. I'm gonna retrace these guys, they're kind of weak. I need to see more. I want to see it better. I don't want to sand any more than I need to. See this this side here looks like it's done. I'm not sure exactly. This one seems to be done too. Here we go. And since I'm gonna run my finger over them, check. That's pretty close. That's really close, actually. Okay. So as you can see, it doesn't take much. Okay, you see that? That's gone. Is gone, the black starts to disappear. The black starts to disappear, that's gone over there, or completely gone. By turning the sand black around a little bit, you can selectively sand in a in high spots. And I'm going a little bit back and forth and on a slide angle. I'm gonna go like this a little bit now. So just keep an eye on it. 
with the three swipes, two, three swipes, four. That's done. That's done. I'm going kind of in this area right here right now. I'm having a visual clue and I keep using my fingers. Check it out. still see the black line here so just gonna give you okay yes there it goes and then let's put it close good and now I have to finish the step but because I have to sand quite a little bit off of it what I'm gonna do I'm gonna Guess a little bit of insurance here, aka the masking tape. I'm just gonna put some masking tape in here, and I'm holding this on a slight angle because I want to insist on this end here. This is to size. This is just about finished, right? So I don't really want to touch there, but I want to touch over there. Which means I can add a little bit more. One more piece of tape in here. Yeah, like that. Okay. It's just like when you paint something. If you don't want to paint it, well, guess what? You mask it off. You see that? I broke through the blue tape okay it's time to replace it and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna replace this little section and we can even flip it to the other side okay and go at it again getting close again I broke through it I'm gonna move it again I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna steal a piece from over there I'm gonna rob Peter to pay Paul <laughs> there it is Black is gone. It's it's quite faint, but it's gone. Believe me. Yeah, I guess. Be careful, watch out for those lower pieces of tape as you remove the top tape. Okay, and right now you can run your fingers, feel it. Make sure everything is nice and straight because this was going to help the top shading to flow nicely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Looks good. And now, if you want to touch off this trailing edge again, you could. You could probably could, you know. But it's no, it feels good. It feels good all the way around. And you run your finger around. You don't feel any bumps or you know cavitation or something like that. That's pretty good. Okay, good. So, 
it doesn't take a whole lot of time just careful don't try to push hard on it just very gently just almost like that's all I'm doing I allow the weight of the sanding block to do the work and even if the sanding block was made out of this it's still heavy enough to get the job done so the next step will be to sand the leading edge off I'm using the mystery piece of plywood connected to the two pieces of tape so I can put it in place. The first thing I want to do is just I want to rough these things and I'm putting the plywood maybe one eighth inch on the back behind the, the uh, main spar and uh, what I'm going to use to shape the leading edge and actually rough it in right now I'm going to use this uh, 80 degree uh, sanding block which I made and what I'm doing is just I'm using the plywood as a as a hard stop so as you can see the plywood can it forms by itself uh, to the top of the ribs and I'm just moving it forward like this and, and go sideways too and what you can do you can lift it up shake it out with your fingers see if you're getting close or if you need to insist on one spice or like this another thing you can do is when you put the sanding block in you know certain positions you can pretty much you can look from this direction and you can follow the top of the ribs and see if it flows nicely you know you can put it right on top of them check it out you can look from the back from this direction you can see kind of the entry angle it's like about that much and then you can put this back on and touch it off a little bit more it really takes a few swipes of that uh, sandpaper to finish a section and once I'm done with the section I'm just moving over to the next one uh, you want to leave about one eighth inch from the back of the uh, leading edge uh, spar to the front of the piece of plywood about one eighth inch less is good more is not good one eighth inch or less sixteenth of an inch you know it all works out so I'm gonna just go like that I start here moving and I'm moving forward and then I can take this on the side Feel with my fingers it has a lot to be done here a lot to be and it's just a lot to be cut over there so I need to insist on this area here and I'm just gonna take a few swipes at a time then I'm gonna remove this hard stop check it out this is pretty good pretty good kind of high here high over there so I'm going to insist in this area now check it out again take your time it's not a race you wanna what I'm trying to do right now is just rough it in because what I'm gonna do after this I'm gonna put the scotch tape on top of these guys and I'm gonna return with a finer sanding paper and I'm just gonna blend it in so it is a rough cut but it's pretty close to size that feels good okay and now I'm gonna go to this end here see right now I have a little bit of a problem because this is not gonna work very well but it's okay I guess at this point you can put some scotch tape and you can keep changing the scotch tape to make sure see this side is finished this corner is finished all most of the sanding is going to be done in this area so that's the area where I'm going to double and triple the scotch tape because it's going to go through it pretty easy and actually you know what I could do here and I forgot to do it right now 
you could just change colors on a scotch tape. Just go, go white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, and so you can see it when it breaks through. Okay. And you can feel it if if this is the bridge it kind of sits on the uh, main spar or over there and you can change the angle after that just a little bit and just cut it check with your fingers and that's pretty close right now okay that's as you can see it doesn't take much just a few swipes all right what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna prepare this whole thing for the finish sanding. So, as usual, I'm going to, you know what, I'm gonna refresh this uh, black marker spots. Mark it again. <coughs> Even though it's kind of hard to see, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run my fingers over it all the time. I'm just gonna take a few swipes and then check it out with my finger, fill it. And I'm gonna, until I fill it, it just blends in nicely, okay? Tape, but I'm gonna put the tape here. I'm gonna put it very close to the to the trailing edge spar. Maybe not even a sixteenth of an inch behind it. <clears throat> it's really, really close. <coughs> I'm looking straight down. So I can see where the trailing spar, uh, trailing edge is gonna end, and I know where I'm gonna put my uh, scotch tape through. Right. It doesn't have to be pretty. There's no way you're gonna make it pretty, anyways. And since I'm very iffy about it, I'm gonna put another layer. I just don't wanna take any chances that I'm gonna cut through the top of the ribs. So basically I'm gonna have like three layers of this tape protecting the top of the ribs. And as I center the blue one, and I'm gonna start to see white underneath it, that's how I know I'm, I'm getting real close to the, um, to the finish size. And one thing I wanna say here is that I am not trying to round the edge, the leading edge. I am not trying to give it a shape like this right now because when you glue the plywood the plywood is so stiff it's gonna stay on it's gonna leave an air pocket which is gonna give you a bad glue joint another thing that's gonna happen if you force this down if you force this corner down over the over the top around the sharp corner what's gonna happen is you have this rib like this you're gonna force the corner down here and the plywood is gonna lift over here. And you're gonna have, again, an uh, unnecessary uh, loss of uh, strength. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to just blend it in. If the, if the rib is like this, I'm trying just to follow in a straight direction. It's a natural progression of the rib. So when a plywood is going to lay in here, it's going to lay in here. It's going to go just nice. 
and we're going to worry about shaping the leading edge after we do this operation. So right now I'm not trying to round the corner, I'm just trying to <coughs> feather it in and just blend it in towards the end. So, and you can even feel it, what is it going to be? Where you can see it. Right now I'm seeing that I'm breaking, I'm already breaking through the blue tape. Just it's my fingers. What I'm doing is I go this way, I'm coming on top of them, kind of fill the top of the ribs, and then just as I go this way on this side, I kind of follow the natural progression. And what you're gonna find out, you have more angle here and a little bit less on the top, on a wing tip. And if I see the Blue tape being cut out, I'm gonna stop. See, I'm already cutting through the white tape too. Yeah. This one I almost cut all the way through. You know, I'm gonna change this one too. This tape is still good. Pretty good, actually, I like that. Now you can kind of close your eyes, you know, feel it. Or, you can take this piece of plywood and see how it forms in there. You can use a flashlight if you want to, put the plywood on top of it run a flashlight and look from this direction and see if we see any light or or if you need to cut more from the front or from the back but I think just simple just running your fingers back and forth is going to tell, tell you probably much more than a flashlight or a... and this really feels pretty good all the way all the way around I'm going to take a white tape I'm just going to put it back on. I'm not going to bother with the blue tape because I'm very close to finish. Right now, it's, this is where the, the the black marker comes in place because I'm gonna start to sand until I see it kind of start to disappear. And 
and I can see it breaking through right now, but now I have to be careful. Take your time. Here, it's gone. So right now I'm working on a leading edge and you can see I even broke in through a few spots. Uh, I'm putting the finishing touches on the sanding and uh, I'm just being careful not to go too much through it. And you can see the, when you see the tape being broken off and kind of you break through it, I think it's you're done. Another thing I'm looking for, I'm running my fingers constantly in here. I'm trying to feel for high spots. And if I feel high spots, I just touch it a little bit more. This is done. And you can also see the tape, it's just broken through. It really doesn't take much, a few swipes. careful my hand is just flowing like this over it just maybe a little bit of that not a whole lot okay just a little bit ever so slightly um, you can see a white spot here that's the spot is done maybe go touch a little bit more here have to be careful just monitor it closely okay and well, this feels real good all the way through so I'm just I guess I'm gonna call it down remove the tape when you remove the tape I think it's a good time to double check and as you can see you see a little white spot <coughs> from the top of the rib. The one is done. It's a little bit high in here. I'm just gonna... Mm, maybe I shouldn't take a chance with that. I'm gonna put another piece of tape. And I'm gonna spot it a little bit. Yeah. Touch it off a little bit. <coughs> I'm gonna add another one. Just to make sure I don't break through it. So I can see a little bit of white here, a little bit of white on the tip. So that's how you know you finished. Yeah, that's good things. Everything feels pretty good. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna touch this root rib a little bit here. So nice when you can flip things around and just move around <coughs> to get to different places. I'm just gonna put a little bit of scotch tape over here over the rib. This does a hard stop. Much can do. You 
can blend these two ribs in a little bit. As soon as I see the laser cut mark burn gone, I'm stopping immediately. Okay. Alright, I think sanding on this, uh, the sanding job on this panel, it's over. The next step will be to glue the top sheeting in place. Um, <clears throat> many of you may think like, well, all the dust that goes on this tape, well, it's not going to stick good anymore and probably you're right, okay? But uh, the amount of uh, stickiness that's left over in it is, is more than enough for what I need. So, uh, I guess... In the next video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show how I glue the top sheeting.